Okay, this is my new 2015 30 horsepower Tahatsu four-stroke. Uh, I was doing some research on four-strokes and in this size range, uh, looking on the internet to try to find out as much information as I could, and I didn't seem to find any really good videos, so I wanted to make a video of my own. So this is my first video, so don't be too critical. Uh, I, I bought this engine today. Uh, today is the 19th of September 2014. This is a, a brand new model 30. It's got power tilt and trim and electric start. All the, all the uh, options that you can get in this particular size engine. And just to let y'all know, uh, I've, I did a lot of research on, on all different brand names and the one with the most options in this size range and, and the short shaft is a Tahatsu. Uh, Mercury also has those options only because a 30, 30 Mercury is also a Tahatsu engine with a Mercury sticker. Uh, everything made by, everything with the Mercury sticker, 30 horsepower and less four stroke are all Tahatsu engines uh, with, you just rebranded with the Mercury name. Uh, I also found out that all the 15 horse and less E-Tech engines are all Tahatsu four strokes. Um, so, uh, and also Tahatsu owns Nissan. So everything that has a Nissan name is actually made by Tahatsu also. So Tahatsu is a pretty large Japanese company, though in our area there's not a lot of people that own them. And I don't really know a lot about them, but I decided to go ahead and take a shot because all the reviews I heard were good versus some of the other engines there was this and that and these other little problems I never really got any never really heard anything bad about the Tahatsu so and, you know mostly heard that it was a bulletproof engine from I mean this is as unbiased as I can be because I never thought I would own a Tahatsu so let's just put it like that I never thought I'd actually buy one myself so there was no there's no reason for me to jazz it up when I didn't feel like I would ever want one myself. And I've seen them before, but not that often in our area. But I just wanted to go over what this engine comes with, <laughs> excuse me, from the uh, factory. Um, of course, they checked it out. I bought it from Duvix in Harvey, Louisiana. Um, they installed the tiller handle. With, with this 30, uh, 30 horsepower model, you get the tiller handle and the tiller handle comes with uh, the power tilt and trim starter switch. This is your starter switch. This is your uh, your remote your mo the uh, safety key that you know if it pulls out it kills the engine. Your trim switch is right here on the tiller, so you can trim it right there with your hand without you know reaching back to the engine. It also has a tiller another trim switch on the engine. Too, which I like it has two actually has two trim switches which is pretty cool uh, the shift levers here this is you know back is reverse forward is you know forward and then neutral uh, and it, it has the throttle control here you spin it and on the back side where my hand is you can tighten this up for what I guess you'd call a cruise control or whatever something to keep the tension from constantly pulling against your wrist if you're traveling long distances in the front of the engine you see they got a LED light right here and that's a warning there's also an audible alarm that goes off if the oil pressure is low or if the temperature gets too high or if the water water is if it's if it's the water system's not working correctly it, it alarms you there's a few different types of alarms some of them's a beep some of them a continuous beep with the uh, light lit up the whole time um, and as I said this engine has power tilt and trim um, which a lot of smaller engines like this aren't even, they don't even make it. So that's part of the reason why I wanted this model. It comes with electric start, power tilt and trim, and actually has all the components on the tiller itself where you don't have to reach way back to shift it and all that. Uh, from the factory, it comes with a 6.6 .6 gallon fuel tank that looks like it's of pretty good quality. Um, it has a gauge on it. Uh, it looks like a, maybe some type of float gauge. I don't know how it works. I don't have any fuel in it yet. It has stainless steel ball fittings, quick connect fittings, which I really like. I, I, I like these fittings better than I do the traditional old 
OMC fittings that I'm accustomed to because that's all I own is OMC products. It come it came with the fuel water separator kit, uh, brand new, with a filter, uh, which I, as you see I haven't had time to hook that up yet. So it comes with that. It comes with a line. This end attaches to the engine. This end has a connection for the tank. And it's also a stainless steel quick connect fitting. Uh, seems like a pretty decent little line. Um, not sure how much of this normally comes with the engine, but they did give me two uh, cans of fuel stabilizer and they are Tahatsu brand. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to get one or if you're supposed to get two or if that's just something extra that they have may, may have given me there. Um, it came with a steering arm uh, in case, I guess, if, if I was using this as a steering, you know, as a remote steering, I could hook this up. This, this is your steering arm for remote steering. It came with the mounting hardware to mount the uh, engine through the, through the transom uh, with bolts. It came with the manual, an emergency pull cord, and an extra set of spark plugs, which I thought was pretty pretty neat. You actually have an extra set of plugs. I bought a tiny tack because I plan on putting it on there just so I can keep up with my hours and I can check the the uh, tachometer, you know, to, to see my RPM range and all. That way I'll know whether my prop is okay for the boat and I can also keep up with the hours for maintenance, you know, uh, and, and for break-in. Um, it came also with a small tool kit, uh, which you can see it's not a lot of tools, but it is something. So um, I believe that that's all it came with. Uh, from, but I thought that that was pretty a pretty good bit of things. I've bought engines in the past, and it does. I, I can't remember getting quite as much. And I know it's it's not a whole lot, but I mean I can convert this engine to steering without buying parts. I can bolt it to my boat. One thing I didn't like about the engine is that when I got to the factory and they had put the tiller on it, um, the, uh, I guess you'd call them lag bolts that, that bolt it down here by hand were not in the engine. They actually had to put these in the engine and they charged me $40 a piece for them. And I was really pretty, pretty upset about having being charged uh, $40 a piece for something I thought should have come with the engine. Um, and it kind of is a little odd but the, one of the representatives was there for Tahatsu and he had left right before I discovered that these were not on the engine and I told him that I couldn't use it otherwise because I didn't want to mount it permanently to my boat I didn't want to drill holes through the transom and um, I was actually I'm actually planning on putting this engine on my skiff which is here I'm just putting it on my flat boat to do the break-in uh, with it because I'm, I want to take the flat boat out with it on also. I want to see how it performs I may get another one in the future for my flat boat So I want to run it on the flat boat the flat boat for uh, break-in time. So um, That's pretty much it for now uh, I hope this has been uh, You know helpful for someone because I sure would have liked to have seen this video had I been interested in You know because I was interested in this particular engine so I'm gonna I'm planning on posting when I run it for the first time. I've I've heard the engine run and for about 15 minutes when I bought it at Duvix in Harvey. They did a really good job of going over the engine and how it works and ran it with me and as much information as they could. I was I was impressed with their service uh, there, which I've never done business with them before. But it seems seems as if they're they're concerned about how I make sure that I know what I'm doing with the engine before I left. And they helped me with it as, as good as I felt they could. So, um, all right, guys, I'll be posting again.